So, I was riding my bike along the lake here, as you can see. And I started thinking about, I just want to talk about how I got this job through meditation. And, uh, and uh, I, had been, I was working two part-time jobs. I'd lose a job, I'd get another job. And they were always part-time jobs, and, and I couldn't figure out what was going on with that. And finally, when I noticed it was a pattern, I was like, something weird is going on here. So... I went into meditation because I was meditating every day back in those days and so I just meditated for my normal half hour and then I stopped and I asked the question of why do why am I only getting part-time jobs and I waited for an answer and I don't even know why I did this but I just did it and uh, so I did it a bunch of times like three or four times and then finally the fourth time I got this I'm suddenly in this white space with a person wearing a black suit it was a nice 1962-ish kind of suit, all black tie, black suit. Kind of reminds me of the men in black. And he's really angry with me, and he's frustrated. And he's like, I thought that's what you wanted. And then it shocked me so much, I came out of meditation, and I was like, what the fuck was that? That's not supposed to happen. Because it, was, it wasn't me imagining it. It wasn't me creating it like I was dreaming. It was real. It seemed real. And it was a real person or entity or something. And then I spent some time thinking about it afterwards, and I was like, "What if that was? What if that was a real thing? And what was? What was he trying to say? Like, I I wanted that. He thought I wanted that. Who thought I wanted it, and why? And so, eventually, I came to the conclusion after a lot of writing that I thought of freedom as being two part-time jobs, and emotionally, on an emotional level, that's really important. Not on an intellectual level. On an emotional level, I thought it was freedom." So whoever this person was in the black suit only understood my emotions, and that's it. Uh, so um, so that's why he made that mistake. If he would have talked to me intellectually, I would have explained myself better, but he went by my true feelings, and so that was that. So I thought about, okay, what do I really want? So I wrote down everything I really wanted in a job, and that was working at the university again, being able to use the rec center to run on the track indoors in the wintertime, all that stuff. And uh, little, you know, about a week later, there's a job listing for a graphic designer that could do illustrations. So I thought, well, that's me. But I thought, well, I'm not qualified for that. I mean, I, I have a degree in, uh, associate degree in commercial art, but I don't have a four-year degree in graphic design. And Madison's so competitive that, that I wouldn't stand a chance. Um, someone knows somebody you know that kind of thing so another week goes by and I thought well what the hell I'll apply for it I might as well so I you know I had my own letterhead and my own envelopes and I had printed up and everything and I wrote a really nice cover letter and mailed it and I got a job interview and I came in and I met everybody except the person I was going to replace um and then uh um, I was shown the Mosaic web browser, so I saw the internet for the first time. I think it was that time. It might have been after I started. I think it was around then, though. They were just showing me what I was going to be able to, the perks of the job, I think. And uh, I met my boss's boss, who would be my boss's boss, and uh, my boss. And um, and about another week goes by, and two weeks go by, and I think, I'm not going to get the job. I get this feeling in my gut that something's not right. So... I didn't know what to do. So I'm meditating, and all of a sudden, I in my meditation, I think to myself, I'm going to just call up everybody and ask them uh, what they think, you know. So I called up everybody, and um, even the guy that I was going to replace, uh, even though I didn't really know what he looked like, I just, I knew he existed, and I, you know. And he said to me in, his, in meditation, he said, I'm rooting for you, man. And, uh... Um, and then I talked to my boss, and she was like, yeah, I want to hire you. And then I talked to her boss's boss, and she was like, no, I'm not hiring you. You artists are all flaky, and of course, I, my boss was flaky. Uh, that eventually became my boss, uh, and I could see why she would think that. And so I argued with her. I said, well, look, I said, here's my case. I said, you know, I'm, I'm, I have a business mind. I'm, you know, uh, I take orders and direction, and... Uh, I won't be flaky and if I am flaky you can always fire me before my you know 30 days are up and hire the person you want to hire from the business school because that's what she said uh, 
know, she wanted somebody more business oriented, you know. And so I start the job. They hire me, oddly enough. And then I get the job and I come walking in. And the guy that I'm replacing is sitting there and he looks up at me and he goes, I was rooting for you, man. Exactly what the vision version of him said to me. And I didn't even know who he was. I had never heard him say that kind of a thing. And there he was. I almost died when I walked in and he said that. He, he, it was a shock. And then later, I had been there working there about a month. And then I find out that my boss's boss was going to hire somebody from the business school. And for some strange reason, she changed her mind. And my boss was confused by that because she thought, I thought for sure she was going to hire this guy and she hired you instead and I don't even know why. And I'm not sure why either. I'm not sure how it presented to her. Did she have a dream or did she just get a gut feeling that I'm the right guy for the job? And I was the perfect guy for that job, to be honest with you. But I was offered more money for a different job and I took that job and had benefits that were really good and everything and the internet I was starting to do HTML for the internet and I was doing video production and stuff for those guys which is way more than my job a listing actually called for but I just got bored with you know and I just started learning new things and the HTML thing was really exciting to me and I, I remember talking to my boss's boss about how we should set up um, graphic standards so high that uh, Mac Lab students couldn't do websites anymore and they would have to give us all their work and um, she needed to work for the department to prove that they were real that they were a necessary department and um, that's how that got started in, at the University of Wisconsin so that happened um, and uh, I have to tell you I saw the man in black one more time after that uh, and uh, I'll tell that story at a later date <laughs>